how to create an asset management policy for ISO 27001 in under 10 minutes. Hi, I'm Stuart Barker, the ISO 27001 Ninja. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can create an ISO 27001 asset management policy to satisfy ISO 27001 2022, the update, in under 10 minutes. Now, the fastest way to do this clearly is to go to the High Table website, the ISO 27001 store, and download this template. If you're not going to do that, which is absolutely fine, be sure to get your pause game on, pause the video. Type it, type it, type it, type it in, and technically you'll be able to do this for free. It is also part of the ISO 27001 toolkit, the ultimate toolkit for ISO 27001 certification. But for now, let's dig in, let's get on, and let's get this policy created. So the asset management policy, you're going to fire up your Microsoft Word. You're going to put all your document markup in there and your version control. All the stuff that's on every single policy covered in other videos, we're not going to cover that today. You're going to create your contents. You're going to have your contents for your asset management policy. We're going to look at the purpose, the scope, the principle. We're going to cover inventory of physical assets, inventory of virtual assets, inventory of data assets, inventory of software license assets, a new introduction with the 2022 update. We're going to look at ownership of assets, acceptable use of assets, and return of assets. Then at the end, you're going to have your policy compliance applicable to every policy. And again, there's another video on that one. I'm going to cover that today. We, let's have a little look. Let's dive in. So asset management policy. Purpose. The purpose of this policy is the identification and the management of assets. We can't control what we don't know. So we've got to identify those assets. Then we're going to manage them. The scope. All employees and third party users all company information, physical and virtual assets. Principle. Company assets are known, identified and managed with the appropriate protections in place. Inventory of physical and virtual assets. Information and information processing, storing and transmitting devices, both physical and virtual, are identified and an inventory of these assets is drawn up and maintained. For each asset, at least the following is recorded. Now, you're going to have an asset register. There is another video, another tutorial, another template on that. For each asset, we want the asset name, the asset owner. We want the importance of the asset. We want the classification of the asset. For physical assets, additionally, at least the following is recorded, the asset number, serial number, whether or not it's in use or not, the last check date, who checked it, when they checked it, what the asset does, and a description of the information that is processed, stored, or transmitted. Inventory of data assets. Again, there is a data asset register template. This just describes it. Data and information assets are identified and an inventory of these assets is drawn up and maintained. For each asset, at least the following is recorded. The asset name, the asset owner, the importance of the asset, the classification of the asset. For data and information assets, additionally, the following may be recorded. Business function using the asset, where the information is, the name of the application that processes it, why we have the information, the name of the controller, categories of data subjects if applicable, how long we keep information, data retention information, data classification, data classification information, categories of personal data, categories of recipients, if international transfers take place, any additional security measures, description of technical and organisational controls, the lawful basis of processing if applicable, the volume of data, risk to data subjects if applicable, the risk rating, actions to reduce and mitigate risk, date it was last assessed and the date of the next assessment. Then we're going to have an, off uh, an inventory of software licensing assets. Again, intellectual property that came in with the 2022 update actually fundamentally um, revolves around um, licensing. So software and software licenses are identified and an inventory of these assets is drawn up and maintained. For each asset, at least the following is recorded. So you need a, a register, right? Which you've got, template, ultimate toolkit, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to record the asset name, the asset version, the asset owner. 
whether the asset software is free or whether it's paid, the number of licenses purchased, the number of licenses that are in use, the location of those licenses, where the software is deployed, the date we last assessed it and the date of the next assessment. Ownership of assets. Individual roles, individuals, roles or teams are assigned ownership of assets. Asset owners ensure that assets are inventoried. Asset owners ensure assets are appropriately classified and protected. Asset owners ensure the proper handling when the asset is deleted or destroyed in line with the information classification and handling policy. The asset owner may delegate routine tasks. Acceptable use of assets. Acceptable use of assets in line with the acceptable use policy. There is an acceptable use policy, template toolkit. Return of assets. All employees and external party users return all organizational assets in their possession upon termination of their employment contract or agreement. Where an employee or external party user purchases organization equipment or uses their own personal equipment, procedures are in place to ensure all relevant information is transferred to the organization and securely erased from the equipment. During notice periods of termination, the company controls an authorised copying of company information by the terminated employees or external party users. Nice and easy. Then we have the current policy compliance section. So this is all around about asset management. You've seen, uh, uh, if we took five minutes, I'll be shocked and amazed. Um, there are other templates that you need individually available, available in the toolkit, but the asset registers that back this up, this is the policy, the statement of what we do. So that was how to create an asset management policy in under 10 minutes, well under 10 minutes. I am Stuart Barker. I am the ISO 27001 Ninja. And until the next tutorial, peace out.